Brief History of Townsville, 1970 to 2003. The traditional custodians of the land are the Wukarukaba and Vindal people, who have lived here for many generations. James Cook University, formerly known as the University College of Townsville, was proclaimed as an Act of Parliament on the 20th of April 1970. Queen Elizabeth II signed the proclamation. 1970 also saw the opening of the largest Woolworths in Australia at Nathan Shopping Plaza, now Stockland in Aikenvale. Christmas Eve 1971, Cyclone Althea struck Townsville. An estimated $50 million worth of damage was caused, with hundreds of homes on the mainland and over 90% of those on Magnetic Island damaged or destroyed. A three metre storm surge was recorded north of the area. There were three deaths. A nickel refinery at Yabulu was opened for operation in 1974, and the Australian Institute of Marine Science, Ames, opened at Palaranda. 1974 saw the year the Ross River was dammed to mitigate against flooding and improve water availability. The Townsville Civic Theatre opened in 1977 with a variety concert of local performers. When it opened, it was the most technically advanced theatre in Queensland. The fly tower of the theatre was referred to being the highest in Queensland at the time of opening. The Flinders Street Mall was opened on the 1st of November 1979. Redevelopment of the mall commenced around 2008 to make way for through traffic. Flinders Street was reopened to traffic in 2011. The Perth Tucker Regional Art Gallery opened in Flinders Mall in 1981. The building was originally erected in 1885 for the Union Bank of Australia. In 1981, Edward Marbo, a Townsville resident, and a number of other local Aboriginal leaders held a conference at James Cook University and decided to pursue a native title claim for the people of the Murray Islands in the High Court of Australia. The Marbo land rights campaign was successful and the High Court of Australia gave recognition of Indigenous land ownership in 1992. Buchanan's Hotel in Flinders Street, regarded as Australia's most significant building in the filigree style, was burnt to the ground in 1982. On the 1st of January 1986, Tharangawa was proclaimed a city. Prior to its proclamation as a city, Tharangawa was a large rural shire, almost surrounding the city of Townsville. It was amalgamated with the city of Townsville in 2008. The Sheraton Breakwater Hotel and Casino, now known as Jupiter's Casino, was opened to the public in 1986, and another Townsville attraction, Reef Wonderland, now known as Reef HQ, opened on the 24th of June in 1987. Townsville's own National Basketball League, the Townsville Suns, played their first match on the 23rd of April 1987 at the Townsville Entertainment Centre. Forced to change their name in 1997 due to copyright regulations, the team became the Crocodiles. The Australian Festival of Chamber Music, the AFCM, presented its first season in Townsville in July 1991, initiated through the vision and commitment of the former Vice-Chancellor of James Cook University, Professor Ray Golding, and the festival's previous artistic director, Theodore Kucher. In 1994, a public competition decided the name and team colours of Townsville's entry into the Australian Rugby League, the North Queensland Cowboys. Laurie Spina led the team onto Stockland Stadium, now known as 1300 Smile Stadium, for their first ever clash on the 11th of March 1995. In 1995, the inaugural Townsville Cultural Festival was held. On the 12th of June 1996, the Australian Army experienced one of its worst peacetime disasters when two Black Hawk helicopters collided in a training accident, killing 15 members of the Special Air Services Regiment and three members of the Army Aviation Corps. A memorial was erected at the Palmetum in 1997. 
the Sun Metal Zinc Refinery was built and opened in 1996. On the night of the 10th of January 1998, torrential rain fell in Townsville and Tharangawa, causing widespread flooding throughout the city. The worst floods in the city's history. The strand was extensively damaged. The total damage bill for the area was in excess of $100 million. The period of the 10th to the 11th has since been dubbed the Night of Noah by Townsville residents. Over a three-day period, over 750 millimetres of rain fell across the area. After being heavily damaged by the Night of Noah, Townsville's iconic strand was redeveloped and reopened on the 23rd of October in 1999. In 2001, a brand new Townsville Hospital was opened at Douglas. The original North Ward Hospital closed its doors to the general public to become an apartment complex. Also in 2001, a ceremony to mark the unveiling and proclamation of the first Australian flag was held in Townsville. The Townsville Fire competed in their inaugural season in the Australian Women's National Basketball League. Construction commenced in 2003 on the Douglas Arterial Road, known as the Ring Road. The project included the construction of a new bridge across the Ross River. The new Townsville Railway Station opened to accommodate the new tilt train service and the Nellie Bay Harbour Ferry Terminal on Magnetic Island was opened. Discover the rich history of Townsville and the surrounding region in the local collection room at our Flinders Street Library or online at www.townsville.qld.gov.au